for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with writer-director Juan Carlos Medina. How does it feel to have your feature, Painless, here in the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, it feels awesome. It's an incredible festival and the audience is um, its so alive and uh, I, was, I really had lots of pleasure staying in the cinema um, and feeling how the audience would vibrate with the movie and stuff and, and I think the the Torontonians are uh, you can feel they really love movies mm -hmm. because they are they're very expressive they you can hear people laughing uh, being scared um, um, expressing their feelings in popcorn and it's like <laughs> it's like they really they take the movie you know they, they feel the movie and uh, and also the Q&A's were uh, really people ask very interesting questions mm -hmm. Um, it was it, it was a great experience, and also since it's my first feature, it's uh, so I'm a little bit of a rookie, you know. <laughs> and I was happy that uh, to have this kind of kindness, you know, of the of the audience. And also the theaters were packed. The two screenings that we had, the theaters were packed. I was really amazed. Did you have any audience reactions that took you by surprise that maybe you didn't expect? Mm, well. Um, I had uh, questions about, uh, no, about really about very interesting questions about the story, mm -hmm. about uh, how I um, I came up with this story, and also technical questions about the movie, how we shot it, um, and these kind of things. Great. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind the making of the film? Well, it was two things. It was um, wanting to make a movie about uh, how the past, how the history of, um, of a country, of a society can affect uh, its present. And also, at the, in the same time, how your, um, uh, your ancestry, your parents, your grandparents, their experiences, their lives, can uh, affect yours, even if you don't know that uh, that you're related to them because this story, well, part of this story is about a guy who finds out that he's not his parents' biological son, that he's, he comes from somewhere else, and so he goes on a quest to find his real parents mm -hmm. and where he comes from. And, um, and in doing so, he, he uncovers uh, a, a, a historical secret, which is a, a dark secret about a very dark time in Spanish history. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and so that's where the story about the insensitive children kicks in, which is a story uh, that the disease exists, really. It's, uh, it's, um, it's called the uh, Nishida syndrome, or insensitivity with anadrosis syndrome. And, um, and in this movie, it gave me the adequate treatment for, uh, to introduce all these themes about, uh, that I wanted to treat, about uh, how we cope with pain, how we cope with suffering, um, to be human beings, basically. Mm. Have you always been a big fan of the horror thriller genre? Yes. Well, I I, uh, I love movies uh, like I don't know, like Seven or like uh, The Silence of the Lambs. But also, uh, um, for instance, um, The Music Box. Costa Gavras, The Music Box. Uh, I don't know. I th I think. Um, Painless as, as that side, but it's also a blend of genres. It's not just a pure thriller or a horror film. It's uh, it, it tries to, to, to mix things, to, to blend genres and to surprise the audience. You've worked in film for a number of years and you were a production manager as well. How did you find the transition from doing that to directing? Well, I think if you want to make movies, uh, it's good to... Uh, to know what a sh what a shoot is to, to work in a, in shooting uh, being there on the set is the best thing that you can do if you really want to do this job, uh, whatever position you plan to have. No? so when I uh, when I studied cinema, uh, I was indeed I was production manager trainee really on, on uh, an important Spanish movie. It was called Torrente, and uh, that was in '98, I think. And I was a stu student at the same time, no? so this was a summer experience, and you know, <laughs> it was a good experience. And so you get used to the uh, to how to how tough uh, shoot shootings are, no? because it's a very tough experience, and and also you get used to the dynamic of uh, 
you get used to to existing there on a set, and it's a very good experience. How did shooting go? Did everything run smoothly, or did you run into any difficulties on set? There were uh, there were lots of difficulties. It was a very complex film to achieve. Uh, with in, an enormous amount of parameters and of variables. Mm -hmm. um, we had to rely on, I mean, uh, on our good stars a little bit more than I, than I wanted. Uh, fortunately, we were lucky, but we were, we were always kind of walking on the razor. Um, but still, uh, I surrounded myself with a, with a very good team, with a, a very good cast. And I think this um, this helped achieve uh, achieve the movie. And um, but of course, I mean, it it was a hard and stressful shoot, but it's it was it was also a pleasant. I mean, there, there was some pleasure in it, and um, and it was a very um, grand experience. No? And how did you go about casting the film? Well, the casting of the film was a big uh, was a big challenge. Because the, it's a very core. I mean, it's a choral film. It's epic film. It's it has a, It goes through a long range of years with lots of characters. For instance, the children. We meet them at several points of their lives when they're little, when they're little uh, older. Mm -hmm. Then, when in the case of the protagonist, uh, when he's a man and an old man. <laughs> so it's kind of you have these characters with these arcs, several ages. You get you have to find different actors that will play each part of the art uh, that have to be alike, mm -hmm. have to have the, the same energy, etc. So it was a very long casting. It took uh, um, five months, something like that. It was long casting. And of course, uh, very laborious, very difficult. We had to, um, because a lot of small parts, etc. So uh, sometimes we had put a lot of effort in, in finding a person that would do only one scene with two lines, <laughs> but it still had a very important role in the movie to make a, a sequence work. So, um, so yes, yeah, a lot of work for this casting. Yeah. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and on Painless online? Online? Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure I can. I, I, I Maybe the TIFF website or IMDb? Um, yes, the, the, probably the, the TIFF website mm -hmm. and IMDb are, are, are good places to find information. Mm -hmm. Okay, Is well, that okay? yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Congratulations and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto.